Two round moons gone, and still no message from Campion. Then Woundwort still has him under arrest. Or worse. We have to keep hoping, Primrose. I keep remembering Fiverr's vision. A warning comes from the lonely and brave. The one who saves us is the one we can't save. We'll find out what happened to him. I promise. You're sure you want to do this, Hannah? It could be dangerous. Being a mouse is dangerous. If Campion's still alive in Ephrafa, I'll find him. Remember, Kihar, get her as close to Ephrafa as you can. Fly low and fast. Yeah. Frith, watch over them. Hmm? Come along, Campion, sir. Captain Vervain wants to see you again. Questions today. Where were you on the night we left to attack a redstone? I don't know about you, Vervain, but I'm rather bored. You've asked me the same questions for moons now. And I'll keep asking them till I get the answer I like. Where were you? I went out on patrol. You're a liar. How did you know about the snares at Cowslip's Warren? I met a rabbit from Cowslip's Warren. He told me. <laughs> More lies! Why did you resist arrest? Because my chief was going into battle. My place was with him. Where is Hazel's Warren? I wish you'd get it through your thick skull. <gasps> I have no idea. Moss, cut Campion Silflay time again. It might jog his memory. Sir, he's already on quarter rations. You heard me. Now take him away. Steady on, sir. Campion is no longer an Ozla officer. You will stop calling him sir. Do you understand me? As you say, sir. <sighs> he won't last much longer if you continue to starve him. Perhaps he's telling the truth. He's hiding something, sir. And I'll find out what, even if it kills him. <gasps> So, if we don't do something, Campion won't last till next round moon. Vervain's already tried and convicted him without a shred of proof. Rotten, ugly Vervain! He wants Campion dead for sure! And that's how Woundwalk repays the rabbit who saved his life at the Warren of the Shining Wires. There must be something we can do. Campion knew this might happen when he agreed to spy for us. So we just leave him there? <gasps> 
Thanks very much, Campion. Sorry about you getting killed. I don't like it any better than you, Fiverr, but we have to face facts. What was it you said, Fiverr? Vervain's already tried and convicted him. Have you got an idea, Hazel? Maybe. I was just thinking about the story of the trial of Elora. That's when Hofstra accused Elora of stealing carrots. And then he went on trial before Prince Rainbow. And Elora used his wits to make Hafsa look like a fool. By the time Elora was done, Prince Rainbow wouldn't have believed Hafsa if he'd said the sky was blue. So why not do the same to Vervain? Make his charges against Campion look like the ravings of a moon-mad dog. I like it. Pipkin, we'll need help from some of the animals on the down. I'll get all the help we need, Hazel. When we're ready to play our trick, we'll need to know where to find Vervain. I find ugly Vervain and stick to him like his ugly face sticks to him. Yeah. Hannah, how would you like to be a hedge wizard? I'll do it. What's hedge wizard? Yona, are you at home? Hello, <gasps> rabbits. Nice day for a visit. Yona. Can you sing? Like a dawn thrush, dearie. Why? Can I swim? Do I look like a duck to you? No, and that's the whole point. No. <laughs> do I really have to do this? Get on with it. <laughs> you look like an overgrown berry hobbit. Ugly Vervain and his patrol just downstream, Hazel. Right then, let's make Vervain believe the impossible. Campion's life depends on it. <gasps> I'm in the mood for some flayra. Make yourself useful and see if there's any about. See the log? That's where you'll make your entrance. <laughs> Makes me look more magical, don't it? Right, all set. Burbage! No, <gasps> valiant rabbit! Who? Who's there? It is me! Hannah Milana, the mighty hedge wizard! <gasps> Please, please, don't hurt me. Behold! Hannah Milana appears to grant your secret wish. Secret wish? You wish to capture rabbits, hazel, bigwig and fiver. Yes, 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 but how could you know? Hannah Milana knows all! I'll give them to you, but you've got to believe in the magic of the Hedge Wizard. I will. I, I, I do, yes. Yes, absolutely. And you've got to walk the Enchanted Trail, if you dare. Uh, what's that? Oh, the Apprentice Hedge Wizard. Never mind him. Come, Enchanted Trail, away. <gasps> awesome! Right, there you go. Oh, don't I look festive? Hanya coming with Vivian is shoe time! Remember, Yona, the stranger the better. Secret wish? I, I, I do, yes, yes, absolutely. First part of the spell to capture his old big wig and fiver is now. I've got to conjure up mad. Hey, chunk! Oh. Say magic word. Stepa Lapa Dilacus. It sounds a bit silly. But uh, all right. <clears throat> Stepa Lapa Dilacus! <gasps> Oh, slugger moon, oh, grant thy faithful hedgehog's boon and send me lots of slugs really soon. What's she doing? 
I sing to Moon for my supper of slugs. But, but it's daytime. Best time to sing to Moon. She not busy shining in daytime. Oh, slug a moon, hear my tune and slug me soon. Spells very good so far. Now we've got to find a swimming moorhen. Oh, that, that's impossible. They can't swim. Do you want to put a spell on Hazel or not? So far, so good. Well done, Yona. Oh, slug a moon. Yeah, that's enough, then. Oh, don't like this. Not a bit. It'll be all right, Ruffle. Slate won't let you sing. Hurry! Hang on, we're being close. All right, Slate. Off you go. Hmm. The spell's getting strong! I feel it! <gasps> More hens don't swim. There must be something wrong with her. Oh, nothing wrong with me. More hens always swim in autumn. It makes my feathers grow, silly rabbit. The trail of enchantment is leading us good. <laughs> Next, we find Fritz's messenger. Around here? Not far. If the smell's good, he'll grant you your wish. Hazel, Fiver, and Bigwig will be your prisoners. <laughs> I wish Woundwort was here to see this. One wish per customer. Your turn, hockey bit. Hanya and Verwin coming on now. Fine. The sooner this farce is over, the better. Now I summon Fritz's messenger. Hey, Fritz's messenger, we're looking for you. Oh. Right, here. You. You come from Frith. Right out of the sky, mate. Now, let's get down to it. You want Hazel, Bigwig and Fiver? A la bazoom! You got them. Woundwort is our master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is astounding. Wonderful. <laughs> You will follow me to Ephrapa. Woundwort is our master. We follow him. Only him. This is no good. Make them follow me. Best I can do, mate. Is... Is Campion a traitor to Ephrapa? We'll only tell Woundwort. <laughs> oh, he is a traitor. I knew it. I get Woundwort. That's what I'll do. All Ephrafa will honour me. Uh, will they wait here? Well, being under a spell and all, I imagine they will. <laughs> You're the most wonderful hedge wizard in the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be back. <laughs> 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 did you did you see his face? <laughs> I'm the best age wizard in the world. <laughs> oh. Right. Let's clear away our tracks. We can't leave any signs at all if this is going to work. I've got them! I've done it! <laughs> Get Campion! Call the General! Officers? Oh, mad. The lot of them. <laughs> I promise you, General, we don't need the army. I can deliver Hazel, Fiver, and Bigwig myself. Well, what a clever trick that would be. And they'll tell you about Campion, sir. They'll prove what I'd said all along. He's 
a traitor. You're salivating, Vervain. And you won't tell me how you managed this? It's... it's hard to explain, sir. I'd... I'd rather show you. I'll be very displeased if this turns out to be a waste of my time. <laughs> oh, this better work. I'm gonna look like a carrot for weeks. It'll work. Vervain's a superstitious sort. Yes, but we have to convince Woundwart that Vervain has gone mad. They're all mad in Ephrafa anyway. Woundwart coming with Vervain! Small patrol, can be on with them! This just might work. <laughs> she came from right in there. Who? The hedge wizard. Oh, she looks like a mouse. But she's really a magician. Hannah Malana! Hello? Oh, she must be waiting with Hazel and the others. Come on, sir, this way! Hannah Malana! Oi, are you about? Have you any idea what is going on, Moss? Not the foggiest, sir. Seems Vervain's gone a bit off, sir. Moss, you're not supposed to call me, sir. I don't want you getting in any trouble over it. That's my lookout, sir. Stephalopodinicus! Captain Vervain, explain yourself. Yes, uh, it must sound odd. It does. You see, sir, it's the magic word that summons the singing hedgehog. She was covered in flower petals. Uh, perhaps I'm saying it wrong. Stephalopodilicus. No, no, that's it, that's it. Hmm. Uh, I suppose it doesn't matter, sir. I, I just thought you might like to see the hedgehog. Quite a sight, really, is. I can imagine. Ah, uh, ah, uh, this way, sir. Come on, not far now. Has Captain Vervain been showing any other signs of strange behaviour? No more than usual, sir. Well, we'd best get after him, then. Hmm. Well, she was here, General. A swimming moorhen, I swear it. Perhaps she drowned. Well, she seemed awfully good at it. Barely got wet. They swim to grow new feathers, you see. I was not aware of that. Uh, learn something new every day, eh, sir? Well, um, shall we continue? Yes, let's. Perhaps I'll learn something else. <sighs> um, all three of them were right here. Check the area for tracks, Moss. Nothing, sir. But... but Frith's messenger was here, all red with ivy round his ears, and, and Hazel and Fiver and Bigwig. Of course they were. Uh, uh, maybe the magic word will work. Stephalopodinicus! Stephalopodinicus! They were in a trance, and, and they swore they'd follow you, General. They told me Campion was a traitor. And did they tell you cows could jump over the moon? On my ears, sir. It's all true. You've got to believe me, I beg you, General. <laughs> Vervain is relieved of his command. Escort him back to Ephrafa. Put him to work with the slaves. Yes, sir. Come along, sir. No. Before the toadstool fairies get you. <laughs> We set out a flower in the head, and the messenger fell out of the sky. The hedgehog was a bad seagull. It was... Oh, and the head was... A magic song, is it? He's obviously mad. And it seems you suffered as a result, Campion. I shouldn't have listened to Vervain's wild accusations. You always stood by me, Campion. And I know you always will. 
I reappoint you Captain of Ausla, with my apologies. I will always do my duty to Ephrafa, sir. I believe you will, Captain. He must feel like a slug, pledging loyalty to a chief while betraying him all along. I'm glad I'm not travelling his trail. I think it's time we got Campion out of Ephrafa. He should be with us now. Oh, he's one of us, all right. He's proved it. I did see a hedge wizard and a red rabbit, large as life, real as day. It was magic, magic petals and words and... Of course you did, mate. Now let's see you magically get that rock out of there. You did this! You set it all up with the hazel and the girl, I'll tear you to bits! Oh, I see you, Campion! I know your heart! Curse of the Black Rabbit of Inlay be upon you! <laughs> Glad to see you out and about again, Campion. I don't know how you managed to send Vervain round the bend, but thank you for freeing me. We've come to take you to our warren. Come home with us. I can't go, Primrose. You need me where I am. There's no one else to warn you of Woundward's plans. Then you should know where to find our warren, in case you have to run. No, I don't want to know where it is. Then I can never tell. Oh, please, let us do something to repay you. Stay free. Stay happy. Don't let Woundward win. Do that for me. And all this will be worthwhile. I don't understand, Hazel. He doesn't have to stay in Ephrafa. He can't leave. He's a warrior, and Woundward is his chief. But he's betraying him. And that's his tragedy. Oh